my name is Navigator. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the surprise Atomic Shop update today, along with the Fallout TV show. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Number one, you can tell I am already wearing this absolutely baller outfit. This is going to be a free Fallout first outfit that was added to the Atomic Shop today with this kind of uh, Fallout TV show update, I guess you can call it. I'm coining that right now. I'm, I'm putting a patent on that term, so nobody else sees it. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so we kind of had a Fallout TV show update today. Obviously, the Fallout TV show uh, premiered yesterday. I got a chance to watch the first episode. It's all I've seen. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go take a look at the Atomic Shop really quick and then just give you guys, like a, I don't know, like a 30-second opinion on the first episode. So there we go. Let's check out what we have in the store. And there are some other things, too. Number one, like I said, uh, there is going to be the West Coast Duster outfit for Fallout First. I'll take a little bit more uh, in-depth look at it here in a second. That is going to be free for Fallout First members. If you do not have Fallout First, though, you can uh, collect Del Lawson, who is a new free ally. This is a character that actually uh, appears in the show. I'm not going to really spoil anything, uh, but yeah, so that's super cool that we're getting an ally from somebody in the show. Um... And uh, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. It's super cool. And we'll take a look at him uh, at the end of the video as well. And then just a quick overview of everything else that was added. We got the Flatlands Shelter. This has been data mined for a little bit. Um, and actually, it is a place from the TV show. Uh, very one-off location. You wouldn't have even thought about it. But now that I'm looking at this picture specifically, uh, I know exactly what this is. And the fact that the Brotherhood Barracks kit is in here as well makes perfect sense. I'm not going to spoil anything, though. I, I really don't want to. I don't want people getting mad. All right. This is kind of cool, though. I like the uh, the roofs with the little, like, I guess, chimneys or smokestacks, whatever you want to call them. Filters. I don't know. That looks really cool, though. Really like that. Really like the ruggedness. And it reminds me of... Oh, my gosh. Why am I, am I forgetting this? It reminds me of the buildings in that one town in New Vegas that is completely irradiated. And you got to go in and, like, find the NCR dog tags. Why am I forgetting the name of that place? I forget, but I don't know. These buildings are very Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas-esque, which kind of makes sense as the show is set in California. So there's that. We also got the Brotherhood display frame. I did pick this up. I can't really throw it down. I experimented with it. It's a long story, but I'll kind of show this to you in just a second here. And then the other things that were here were the Brotherhood banner, the high-tech stash, and the steel guard posts, things that we have seen before. That's really the brunt of what was added today. So there you go. Let's take a look. Ooh frog in my throat i apologize let's take a look at this outfit first though as i have it equipped it is really cool guys i have to admit so number one and this is going to be the new navigator hat i am going to make that announcement right now no more will i have that brown cowboy hat this is just so cool i love how it looks i love the color i love like the uh the band around the middle there it's just so cool very very uh stetson-esque very you know like i don't know if you guys have ever seen um Oh, I don't know. Once upon a time in the it's what is it? Once upon a time in in the West, right? With Charles Bronson, he gets off at the train station playing the harmonica, and he has a hat just like this. If I got that movie wrong, I apologize, but I don't think I did. Regardless, the rest of the outfit we got some really interesting things. This belt buckle to start, it's almost like a little eye, and I love that. Moving down, though, he's got some pretty dirty shoes on, these black pinstripe pants. He's got black leather gloves, excuse me, and then this kind of tattered overcoat, which if I turn it around, or if I turn myself around, you can actually see there is some detail on the back. And then he does have this bandolier here as well, which is pretty cool. It looks like it has a mix of uh, buckshot and slugshot kind of mixed in there, so I guess this guy is a shotgun wielder. But there's the outfit, and I want to show you really quickly what it looks like with uh, all of my stuff on. So let's grab that. Let's grab Dodge's ghillie suit, the breastplate, and here we go. Look how awesome that hat is, guys. That is just too cool. This is definitely the new Navigator hat. Kind of blends in with the ghillie suit, too, so I like it. There we go. Let's go take a look at the uh, display frame, and we can kind of uh, wrap it up with uh, checking out Del Lawson. And beautiful. This guy is no longer praying, Stephen Scarberry, so I can delete that. And then I can throw down. Where is Del? Here he is. Gotta throw it on this little bag. We'll leave him there. All right, beautiful. Uh, I again, like I said, I can't really throw it down, but I can show you a nice little view of the new display frame. I like it a lot. The only other one that I think I have is the Armor Ace one, and this one looks a lot more realistic than a comic book character's uh, paint on your display frame, so I'm very glad that I picked this up. I did initially think it was a crafting station, though, and I am kind of bummed on that, but beggars can't be choosers i'll get my use out of it so there's that and finally here let's go speak to del lawson 
I'm in need of your expert to actually hold on. I'd like to know more about you, Initiate. Wow. Uh, officers don't usually take the time for casual chats. I mean, uh, they're so busy. That's right. I'm a knight I'm sure errant. They have the time. Bro knows. I mean, I Respect. I you're asking. Not a problem, dude. What do you want to know, sir? Let's find out. Where well, are you from, Del? Not too far from here, but far enough it wasn't easy getting here. Never saw too much of it, actually. The settlement I grew up in was pretty sheltered. I never really went anywhere until after my parents died. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's... I mean, can I ask about your family? Sure thing. Anything in particular? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not too upsetting it's what happened to your parents. I don't mind. It's, it's been a few years since. since. It was just old age and health catching up, really. I guess really? it's harder now than before the war. They were pretty up there when they had me. Mom was old enough, she thought kids were a closed door. Surprise! I don't remember either of them without some gray in their hair. Not even when huh. I was a kid. Mom you know, you... Caught a bad cold and never really got better. Jeez, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Dad and I were both with her at the bedside. She passed. When she was gone, I think the spirit just went out of dad. She was the love of his life. He went a year later in his sleep. All right, boo hoo. I'm kind of tired of sitting through all this. All right, parents died. Whatever. Welcome to the wasteland. Some of you guys might think that's heartless, but this guy doesn't exist, so we're good. Um, do you have any other family, dog? But it's not impossible. I've got some. I had a brother. Oh, damn. 44. What were your parents normal, like? I Mom and Dad Actually, I don't care. Dad farm, and they loved it. I guess. Yeah, well, very I'm sure I'll learn when I watch the show. <laughs> was, it, was it your mom who taught you to be a mechanic? Mom was always happiest with a wrench in her hand. It doesn't matter if your mom taught you to be a mechanic! I, I, I didn't expect... Sorry, I I'm had... sorry. <laughs> hey Dude, there. Don't, just quit! Freaking Absolutely. out, bro. All right. So he trades. He can help me with my power armor. What can he do with my power armor? Can he, like, repair right. it? Yes. I might have mentioned. I've spent a decent amount of time working with Scribe Valdez, helping maintain the power armor for the officers. Until the falling out, anyway. Anyway. Wait. If you want, I can give the whole... Wait, 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 Talking. This is How is this place. dude? All right, bro, come on. How is this dude uh, around 15 years after the bombs dropped, or what is it? 25 years? I don't know. A couple of years after the bombs dropped, when meanwhile he's like uh, in the Brotherhood of Steel 200 years in the future. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. I don't care. The guy was free. What else he do for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. What do you got to trade, bro? Soldier? What do you got? Damn! Hey. Okay, okay. Nah, but yeah, the ba bro, bro sells Barry Mentats. That's wild. This bro is gonna be, this guy's gonna be every camp that I have. That's insane. Barry Mentats, of course, if you don't know, plus five intelligence equals more XP. Boom. So yeah, um, he sells SIGs too. Nice, not bad. Alright, beautiful. Dell, appreciate you having here. I'm sorry about your parents, bro. That really doesn't sell. Oh, you can customize them too? Well, customize any ally. What am I? What do they say in the show if it's bigger than your thumb? Oh, I'm dead, folks. All right. Me and Dell got to run out of here. I really appreciate you uh, watching the video. Been a little bit longer than I wanted to as well. Dell, I know. I, I see it coming. Um, the Fallout TV show, I like it. The first episode is the only one I've seen. I think it's pretty good. My plan is to uh, do an entire uh, video when I finish the series, which will probably be by the end of this week, and I plan on binging it. So there you go. I love my new hat, and I got to get out of here because that bomb is going to... Well, I don't want to swear, but I'm sure you guys know what it's going to do to this place. All right, Dell, grab my stuff. Let's get out of here. As always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care. Dell, get my underwear, bro. We're out of here.